Here's where you choose your different questions. First thing you need to do is decide the type of question that you're going to ask. Click on the drop down menu and these are your different options. We'll go over each of these options in a little more detail in just a minute. Let's just choose a multiple choice to start. Here's where you'll type in the title. We'll just ask an easy question. What is your favorite color? This is where you can add additional help text. Not every question needs this, but you might have a question where you want to add some additional information to your viewers. Go to page based on answer. This is a more of an advanced feature we will cover later on. Here's where you'll type in your answers. We'll just put a couple different answers down here. You can add other. This will actually add a box where your viewers can choose the other and type in their own answer. So that's a great option. For advanced settings, you would just click on the little drop down. This will give you the option to shuffle the option order. This might be good if you were using uh, spreadsheets for a quiz and you didn't want to have viewers seeing the same um, answers right next to each other or if you just want to shuffle up the answers for different reasons. Most important thing right here is required question. If you want your viewers to have to answer this question before they can click the submit button, you want to make sure that this is checked. You'll notice when I click done, you'll actually see a little red asterisk right there. That means this question is required. This is a great option when there's information on here that you want to have from your viewers and you don't want to allow them to submit unless they have actually included that information. This is also great if you're using Google Forms as a quiz type feature. You don't want students to miss any of the questions by accident. If you want to edit this question, you just click on the little pencil over here and you can come back in and edit. If you want to duplicate this question, I use this sometimes for if I have a really good question that is the form and I just want to change up some of the answers or something really simple. Sometimes it's easy just to click duplicate. You'll see you get the same question down here again and you can change this to what is your least favorite color or a completely different question. Click on done. If you decide you don't want this question, you would just click on the trash can and that gets rid of it. To add additional questions, you click on add item. You'll see the different options right here. All right, let's look at each of the different options for questions. Text is a short answer versus paragraph allows your viewers to type in a longer answer. Notice the tip over here. If you're going to use Google Forms for like a quiz or maybe to turn in assignments or you want to know specifically who wrote each thing, you might want to make sure that your first question is their last name, first name, um, their period number, and make sure to make those required answers. Then you'll have multiple choice, which is pretty much explanatory. It's just multiple choice. Remember, you have that other option. Checkbox, this allows viewers to actually check more than one answer. So that's the difference. Multiple choice is only one answer versus checkbox. They can choose several different options. Choose from a list. This is where you can select one option from a drop down list. Sometimes this is nice. I use this for period so that I don't have a long question. They'll just click on the drop down and choose their option from the list. Scale allows them to rank something along a scale of numbers. You might want to make sure this is where you use help text to put in what one would be and what ten would be. Then you have grid questions where you can see this one I have set up to where you're going to choose if you're beginner, intermediate, advanced based on the different options within Google Drive. So grid questions have some great features to them. Date and time are pretty explanatory. It gives your viewers an option to put in a date, um, the time of the day that something happens, or maybe the duration of time it takes them to do something. So you can see there are a variety of options for question types you can use in Google Forms. And you can mix and match and use as many of the different options as you want, or make a form with just one type of option.